Tomos had won him the title last year. But Morata moves easily out of the way. Tomo comes in again very fast. He fades to the right and closes in rapidly. He's got Morata. No, once again, Morata's moved out of range. This is, of course, the right technique for Morata, who's giving something like 50 pounds to his opponent. Tomo comes in fast and low. Morata sidesteps. And Tomo is down. Incredible, folks. A brilliant kick by Morata that came from nowhere. Caught Tomo in the jaw. And he's down. He's trying to get up. The referee is pulling Morata back. And that's it. Tomo is out cold. And Morata is the new freestyle karate champion. He gets $2,000, a free airline trip to New America, and, of course, the latest cassette recorder from Ansco. Bought sponsors of this contest. <laughs> a jam around here. It'll take a while. Tell me, where's the hotel then? It's not very far. It's just around the corner. Just around the corner from here, is it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, what? How much? Five bucks. Here. Oh, thanks. Keep the change. the boss. He hired me. Listen, fellow, this is our job. Oh, I'm sorry. The boss says he prefers me. <laughs> I work for us. Huh? You stole our job. Sorry. Ah. But a fella has to eat. And times are hard. I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> 
Chinese work hard. If we don't, we don't survive. Hey, 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 listen. Eh? Uh, look at me. I work all day and at night I work as well. Huh? So what? Uh, what do you uh, expect, huh? Uh, listen, I really, I really wanted to be the... The boss? Uh, alone? Yeah. The manager wants you. Oh, oh, all right, I'm coming. Huh? The manager? Hey, hey, listen. Eh? My chance has come at last, huh? Don't wait for me. I will be back. Ah, oh, there. Ah, ciao. Uh, We're busy today. Uh, so I think I need your help. Oh, oh sure. I'll help. Anything's better than a kitchen. Uh, what is it? Well, now you move fast. Uh, so then, see this order here? I want to make sure you see it's delivered right away. Huh? Delivery boy? Disco champion here. He's Japanese.
<laughs> Nothing funny about jail. You're crazy. <laughs> uh, sure, it's funny. 
We were fighting at the disco and now we're here. And we still don't know each other. <laughs> Isn't it funny? It's the first time I'm away from my home. I'm here as a tourist. And I've seen nothing yet, except jail. Ah, huh? no use getting mad. Things could be much worse, right? This place is not too bad. Well, it seems like a lousy hole to me. And who's going to compensate the nightclub? <laughs> ah, seems all right to me. Just sit here and don't worry. Better than being outside. No responsibilities and no problems. It's not a bad deal, if you ask me. My boss won't help me to get out. Probably fire me. What happens to me? My folks find out. They'll never speak to me. Hm. It's you. It's you who started the fight. Your fault. Huh. Now don't you start. The people here won't let me work. In the disco. They won't let me dance. Everybody wants to push me down. Yeah, I tell you. Everyone despises me. Even you two! You gang up against me? Well, all right. I'm gonna show you! I like you. I'm going to put you in a cooler. Three days of that, that'll calm you down. Now move! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, 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 I need water! We want some water. We just want some water. You hear? so thirsty, we gotta have water. Water? Huh? No way! You can't refuse us water. It's against the law. What law? I tell you, I am the law! Well, we're gonna see the warden. Warden? I am the warden. Save your breath. Ah! Ah! Listen to me. You better behave while you're here or you'll be in trouble. I'll beat that crap out of you. You remember that. Nobody's gonna help you. No one. So you know what you're told. You got that? It's my fault. You tried to help me. I'm very sorry, fellas. It's all my fault. Forget it. It wasn't anybody's fault. I'm sure. I'll never get out of here. Let's hope our friend doesn't come round again. All right, get out of there. Come on, get out, come on. Somebody's come and paid your bail for you. Our bail? My God, we're getting out of here. Hey, come on. Come on. Hurry up. We're free. <laughs> All right.
Well, that's strange. Who would put up the bail for us? Hmm. Well, possibly. It was God. Hello there. So you're out, huh? My name's Luton. And I'm a lawyer here. My client paid your bail. Also, compensated the disco. And so you're free now. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. Listen, who was it helped us? Yeah, we'd like to thank him. Like to know why your client would want to help us. <laughs> you take this card and go to this address. My client is living there. The senior officer on the retired list, Major General Smith, warmly welcomes you here. I'm a Japanese tourist. I came here to say thank you, General. Oh. I'm Cha Lung. I'm from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Uh. General, I'm Jim. Mm. I came from the States. I'm a painter by trade. Oh. Well, in fact, I know all your names and everything about you. My lawyer got the details. No need to introduce yourselves. Now, because I was impressed with your skill at Kung Fu, I arranged for your release. <laughs> now, you may be wondering why I should help three strangers. I'll tell you. It was because I was hoping that you'd do something for me. You should know that it may not be so easy. Well, tell me, is it illegal then? No, it's nothing illegal. But if it went wrong, it's possible that you might have to use a bit of force. I hope it doesn't come to that. Look, General, you know, we've just got out of jail and we don't want to go back. Hey. General, don't worry. Anything we can do, just say. And I'm sure that we'll be delighted to help you. Hmm. When I saw how you three handled yourselves at that disco, I knew that the time had come. But don't you worry at all. I'll see that you don't go back to jail. Oh, Anna! <laughs> Daddy! Oh! Come here. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is my daughter, Anna. She wanted to meet you. Hello. You look different. Uh, huh? Oh, of course. When you were having that fight, my daughter and I were at the disco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, it's getting late, sir. I must apologize. Although I didn't ask you first, I had my men go and get your things. I was hoping 
You would be my house guest here. You must be tired. Maybe you ought to go to bed now. Thank you, General. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. She is my stepmother. And when my father died, she inherited all of my father's property. But then she gave it all away to a son by a previous marriage, Lobo. And I received nothing at all. General, so you'd like to get your share. <laughs> no. No. I was the commander in chief of the army here, you see. So then I have as much money as I need. Well, then what? Uh, well, this Lobo married an Italian girl. Her name is Julie. Her father was with the Mafia in Sicily, one of the top men. Lobo's scared of her. And when she put pressure on him, the swine threw his own mother out without a cent. She wandered the streets for days. And since then, she's been mentally sick. General, don't you Western people support your parents then? General, if your stepbrother won't take care of her, well, I don't suppose there's any reason why you can't then. My friend, it isn't just a question of who takes care of her. I told you I was once an army general, and a good one. I fought in wars for my country and my people. I believe that man must have honor. Now I see this poor woman driven mad by her own dishonorable son. And that makes my blood boil. No man should be permitted to act in such a disgraceful and dishonorable way. It even puts my own name into shame now. You want to make Lobo take his mother back? Make him? Oh, no. All I want is to see he gets a lesson. I asked you here so you could help me to see that he's punished now. I'm sure the three of you can come up with something appropriate, something to hurt him, make him lose face, a proper punishment for what he's done. I shall make no suggestions. It's up to you. Now, this is a model of Lobo's biggest enterprise. I'm sure that with your skill and your brains, you'll come up with something good, something to make him suffer. So think of a plan. All right, now get started. Is this? Huh? It's from my dairy. In that case, I'm surprised you have the nerve to sell it. A lot of the children in our orphanage have got very sick after drinking it. I can't explain that. It can't be true. Impossible. Well, we had the milk tested. And you can explain it to the health department. Sister, can't be that serious. Oh, you don't think so? Right. I'll see you in court. Wait. Let's talk this over. Talk? There's nothing to say. But I know that when you leave that courtroom, you'll be bankrupt. Bankrupt? Is it that bad? It certainly is. Still, I have to see you prosecuted now because I owe it to our next generation. If something should happen to our children, where would our country be then? You understand? Oh, sister. God saves the sinners. So couldn't you save me for him this time? And don't plunge me into hell. Just what you mean? Uh, what I mean is I could give you money. Oh, you'd bribe me? Oh, God. Please forgive me. Oh, no, no, him. no. I know that your job is a worthy one. You help bring up the next generation. So, I'll give you something. To help with the orphanage. Nothing wrong with that. Now is there? Well, I thank you for the offer, 
Still, the good Lord has always despised hypocrisy. Oh, believe me, I'm sincere. Please sit down, sit down, sit. Take it in God's name. All right, God forgive you. Stingy man would give so much money to our charity. I don't think I'll ever understand this. But we mustn't question it. Yes, no matter how strange it is, maybe, it's the will of God. In the name of heaven, heaven and the Holy Father, Father. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> he really fell for it, huh? <laughs> it was great. It was great. You three are really very smart fellas. <laughs> My boy, you've got a great sense of humor. <laughs> are you any ideas for the next caper yet or not? Oh. Yes, General, we sure have. I'm Lobo. Nobody scares me. Darling. Huh? What did you say then? Oh, oh nothing. Uh, uh, sit. What's wrong? Oh, oh uh, uh, nothing. Uh, 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 a small thing. Uh, just now, City Hall called. Uh, some of our trucks dumped garbage down in town. They say that they're going to suspend our license. Well, what did you say? I told him I wasn't scared of them. You stupid idiot. I can't trust you to handle anything. Look, you see those men? They're both Koreans, and I've employed them as our bodyguards so they can take care of our safety. I am Pao Sin Yi. I'm Lee Chong Sin. Now this problem, you handle it and you find these troublemakers. And you better be successful as well, or you'll be in real trouble. And you know what that means. And our next target is... Hey! 
Lobo's men, you know, they're tough. Kind of liked it, though. Hell, they had traps everywhere. Richard hey, hey. molested me. Come on. Hey, I'm still a virgin, though. Are you surprised with your mustache? Hey. Now get in the car. Come on. Oh. They're after us. Come on. Useless. I was nearly killed then. Hm. It's so stupid. Such a big company like ours is, and three men can make fools out of every one of us. Now you get going. You find out who they are, or you'll answer to me. Don't worry. Wait. Now, you make sure everything's fixed on Sunday for the unveiling ceremony at the Memorial Hall. Right. It should be a good party. We've invited everybody. Well, everybody that counts, that is, of course. That's good. What about your brother and your niece? Have you invited them? What for? You idiot! So we can show them how rich we are. <laughs> Seems to be working out well then. I must say, you got a nice place here. Uh, you know what? This place that we've got here costs more than two million dollars. <laughs> All right. Well, folks. On this happy day, our hosts have invited a friend to make a speech. He's from Sicily. An old friend of our host's father, Mr. Rao. Now then, let's welcome him. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, all of us have gathered here today to pay honor to the memory of a friend of mine. I'm talking about Mr. Masaudi, who is the father of our hostess today. Mr. Masaudi was a great man. He was the best friend I ever had. Wherever he went, he had friends. Brothers, you could say. He did make some money and made some enemies, too. And in fact, the more money he made, the more enemies seemed to appear. But most of them disappeared. <laughs> but that's the way it is. The human race is so envious. And whenever they see a big man, they don't like it. They all try to pull him down. But my friend was tough, didn't pull down easy, and he buried a lot of enemies. And I'm here today to unveil a beautiful statue of this impressive man. Oh, my God. 
didn't expect this. I must say, your father-in-law was an impressive man, wasn't he? Shut up! Oh, they got it wrong then. Must be your mother-in-law. you find out then? Quite a lot. One's a Japanese, name's Murato, a tourist. One's from Hong Kong, name's Alun, he's a waiter. The other one's called Jimmy. He comes from the States, an odd job man. Where do you get him for me, huh? They bring us to these old buildings. They're not. Hey, you're a peasant. <laughs> you don't know anything. I tell you, these buildings have a lot of mystery, huh? <laughs> Don't waste time. Yeah, come Let's on. Let's go. Go inside. Go inside. Jimmy, mm -hmm. watch those guys there. Mm -hmm. Girl, too. What's wrong with you? Boss. Mm. Well. Failed again. Boss, don't worry. This time I'll go myself. <laughs> Hey, where's Anna gone? Oh, uh, she went off to buy some flowers. Yeah, and to get some food, too. Hey, should be back. She's been gone a long time now. We shouldn't have let her go off by herself. If something should happen to her, well, we'd never forgive ourselves. Right. But those fellas, they're after us, not Anna. She ought to be all right, huh? Okay, okay come on. Okay. Right. Let's take pics. Okay. 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 Okay.
people like that to attack me. You had them? Let me ask you, do you have any proof? Proof? My man saw your daughter together with those men. That enough proof for you? He's behind it all. I'm quite sure of that. Yes, you're right. Ah, you admit it then. You've been using those men to attack us, huh? I do. But why? Because he threw his mother out. <sighs> That's our family business, and not yours. <laughs> Maybe you've forgotten. 
That woman's my mother as well. Well, you take care of her. I'm quite willing to. But you have to pay for doing what you did to her. I can't forgive that. I warn you. Better say where those men are hiding. Because unless I can get hold of them, you're in trouble. I tell you, I won't hand them over. Because I protect my men. I am a general. General? Garbage. You may have been once, but that was 20 years ago. You. Right, we'll ask once again. Are you going to tell us where we can find those men? Never. Don't push too hard. I've got men too. Want to fight? Well, that's great. There's one thing I'm always ready for, and that's a good fight. Right. You're forgetting my mafia connections, and you can tell your three men to meet us at the stadium. <laughs> Useless. Jackson! Ah. 
Well, and what have you got to say now? How can a man act like you? I know the truth. You took the general's heritage without a qualm. I don't know what you mean. You know very well. After his father died, you took the lot. What? Also, you threw your mother out. My God, what man would do that? Oh, so you're helping the general to get back his share, huh? Doesn't need help. But he's entitled to his share. Is that so? Well, if you're so damn keen on helping him, then we will give him his share back, provided that you can beat one other man. Then we'll admit ourselves defeated. But still, though, if you should lose, then what? What have you got to offer? Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> oh, no. If they lose, then I shall leave this place with Anna forever. All right. You've got a deal. Look, my friend, I decided to come here to ask you to give this thing up. I would rather leave here than risk the possibility of one of you men dying here. You're wrong. We have to fight this one. But you should know that we won't be fighting for you. Oh. Like anyone else. Life is important to us. But there is nothing more challenging than the prospect of death. And particularly this time, when we're facing a famous killer. What you say brings back old memories of the times when I was waiting to fight on the battlefield. I've heard of this fella, the Black Panther, an American killer. They don't know my rules, so you better tell them. Meow. Yeah. Hmm. Now hear this. The fight today is a fight to the death. So then, there is only one rule. And the rule is, the loser has to die. General, don't worry. Mm.
not to come. You've disobeyed me. I'm I... sorry, but I just had to know what was happening here, though. General, I'm sorry. This mustache of mine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Step on a cockroach. <laughs> Anna, we've won. <laughs> Captain. Sir. Tell my lawyer to arrange to get my share of the heritage. Sir. Hurry. All oh, right. You can tell him whatever I get. I don't need to help build a new military hospital. Sir. Huh? Oh? <laughs> Thanks a lot, my good friends. <laughs> Shoot! 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 Well, go on, then. Go on! Shoot him! Shoot him! What are you waiting for? No! No, don't! Ah! Don't! Ah! Don't shoot! Ah! No!